do you have an immunity to things said about you and you and your husband? <laughs> um, am I immune to it? No. Do I read it? No. And that doesn't mean that I don't have an inkling or that I don't smell it around me. It's hard because um, things are hurtful and things are shocking. Being a target for tabloids is not new ground for Sarah Jessica and Matthew Broderick, who just last summer faced reports of their supposed marital problems. Now the salacious headlines have gone off on a tangent, outraging Sarah Jessica. Their focus, the surrogate mother who's carrying their twins. How's Matthew in all of this? Is he furious? Does he doesn't seem like a man who would get furious. No, he's furious. No, he's angry. It's, it's, it's very shocking daily. It's, it's because there are daily, if not, you know, more often than daily incidences. As a parent, it's so interesting how differently you function when you have a child. I have a responsibility to somebody now, far more important than myself. I look at his face and I think he can't, he doesn't need to know about this. He doesn't need to know what's upsetting me right now. It does him no good. He can't help me. He will only worry. Sarah is currently away from her family on the New Mexico set of her upcoming romantic comedy with Hugh Grant, Did You Hear About the Morgans? In August, she'll start shooting the Sex and the City movie sequel. Will Carrie be pregnant? I will. For, well, first of all, I really don't know. But, because um, I haven't seen a script. I know, the, I know an outline. But you have discussions with people. Yeah, I know. I know. I can't please. pretend anymore. <laughs> okay, come on. I feel like you, you're looking inside my soul. Uh... <laughs> I won't tell you. You won't. <laughs> the designers have begun falling over each other to send in the gear. Well, I think it's going to be very interesting, or it should be, because, you know, our country has changed significantly in a year. She will have been affected, and um, she's not an idiot. And she's going to have to um, kind of change her thinking about indulgence. Sarah herself indulged in the ultimate extravagance of an accessory kind a year ago at the film's London premiere. The hat heard around the world, do you keep it in a box? Does it have its own museum? Do you know where the hat is? Where is it? It's on tour really? in museums. Yeah. I think it's traveling in Europe as we speak by itself. 